Hello guys and welcome back to this new episode. Today we are going to talk about flamingos and specifically we are going to have a couple of questions to address. So let's start from the first one and let's delve into flamingos. Then the first question is very simple. Why are flamingos um, pinkish or pink? Well, basically, when they're born, they're not born pink, they're born grey, right? And that is why sometimes uh, we do see them um, with a different uh, type of colour. Um, but they're born grey, and basically it is the food that they eat, meaning algae and small crustaceans, um, like some sort of shrimps, shrimps um, brine shrimps, that are, um, that are colored and are colored that way because it contains uh, better carotin and it gives them a pink tint. Um, and that's why they take on the pink color, right? Because the uh, crustaceans that they uh, eat are already pink and they're pink because they contain better carotin and then that gets transmitted once they eat and it gives them um, the, that kind of color. But there is one more fascinating question we do need to address today and that has nothing to do with the color of um, their skin um, or their feathers but it's uh, something else. First of all, I have to say that flamingos are interesting on a variety of different levels, right? Because of the way they bend their beak or because they keep this head a little upside down. Anyway, just so fascinating. But Today, we have to talk about why they most of the times stand on one leg. And there are different theories around this, right? Um, three main the theories that in reality are just like two, perhaps. Um, one has to do with the concept of muscle fatigue. This theory suggests that basically um, they raise or lower basically their leg just uh, because in this way they can save some energy, right? Whereas the second of our um, hypothesis here is that uh, that is extremely connected or uh, innately connected with uh, um, a body temperature uh, issue. In other words, they would uh, raise or lower their leg according to uh, their need of um, increasing or decreasing the body temperature. Now, there has been an experiment, an experiment carried out in the Philadelphia um, zoo and basically the theory of the muscle fatigue has been eliminated, right? Because um, standing on uh, two feet would allow them to be more active and to be correct, more proactive when walking, when running, when facing danger or facing the need of feeding themselves. That is, of course, without considering that standing on one foot can be considered more strenuous. Therefore, we go back to the second hypothesis, which is way more interesting, but it is not possible to calculate everything and the results of the experiment that has been conducted at the um, Philadelphia Zoo uh, were inconclusive. But this overall seems a very good and possible explanation, especially when um, you know it is associated with another, because the flamingos stay in warm environment but also in water, which is basically the element that allows them to rebalance their body temperature. And so flamingos hold um, their leg up um, when they want to rebalance their body temperature and regain some sort of balance in general. This explanation I was saying though can be paired up with another. So we do know that in many birds their brain works in a different way, different from ours. Meaning that many birds, and we have seen that in the episode about uh, sleep in animals, um, in many birds they uh, do have the unihemispheric part of the brain that allows to, to, to have and that dictates certain sorts of behaviors. And so for many ph phenomena, um, they work in a unihemispheric way. 
um, which uh, allows, for instance, for birds, like we have seen, about uh, allows them to maintain direction without dropping that onto the ground, just to put it simply. And so the same type of account can be provided here uh, for this phenomenon. So some have suggested that flamingos have a natural reflex to raise and hide their leg, their paw, um, for a uh, balance, but that also might be dictated by a natural reflex that uh, um, allows them to do that and uh, let them do that without having, you know, a full explanation of why that is like that. Anyway, this is the experiment and these were the results. So guys, I want to know what you guys think about this. I would want then for you to um, let me know um, what do you think, what you make out of this. Um, if you um, can think of other possible explanation for why they behave in such a way. So please, please, please comment below and let me know your thoughts. And uh, we're going to talk some more in a different episode about a different, uh, op different sort of topic. But with that being said, uh, for today, this is all. So um, let me know. And then, um, you know, you could also uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And also, you can um, hit the notification bell so to receive every new update um, and every new uh, video that has been uploaded. And uh, with that being said, guys, bye bye.